All is quiet now here in Cadron Plaza, in front of the courthouse where Peter Liang was sentenced yesterday. But yesterday, this was a scene of intense protest and anger. Activists and family members were calling for justice for Akai Gurley. How on earth can you guys say it's okay to murder and not be held accountable? The judge sentenced Liang to five years probation and 800 hours of community service. The lack of jail time for Liang has left many with a familiar feeling of betrayal. There's just another black person shot dead by the police, and, and they don't pay the cost. Many in the Chinese community felt Liang should not serve a harsh sentence for what was said to be an accidental shooting. Uh, Mr. Liang, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have this on his mind for the rest of his life, but I, I don't think a 15-year jail sentence is in order here. I mean, the top charge was unsupported by the evidence. A few days before the sentencing, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams convened a meeting between Chinese and African-American communities for healing. And we will not allow what took place at that tragedy to divide and separate our communities. But for Sharice, who lives in the neighborhood where Akai Gurley was killed, the healing of her community is a long way off. It's not right and it's not fair. It's not fair. Our community is hurting. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.